Jean-Jacques, I mean, the story behind the making of the film is almost as epic as the picture itself, isn't it? Uh, what can you tell us about the origins of the project, uh, which stretched back to over 30 years ago, I believe? Well, you know, uh, I um, have discovered Africa, like 40 years ago, was transformed by the shock of discovering that continent. After that, I dared uh, making movies in, uh, in Asia. And I know how those movies transform my, my, my heart. And in between those two continents was the Arab world. It's a world that fascinated me since I was a kid with those magnificent Orientalist paintings, the smell of what I imagine, the incense in the harems and, and the souks and, and the vastness of the desert. And uh, I also was curious because I was hearing not so good news from that region. Uh, therefore, I wanted to see by myself. I went there, discovered uh, people with a great uh, dignity, with uh, a great sense of hospitality, and the terrible worry not to be seen as they are, but painted with the colors of uh, something they hate. So. I felt that it was a need to do to show what I was feeling. And for the last 20 years, I've been looking for a project. I was offered several, ended up seeing an old friend of mine of Tunisian origin, my producer Tarak Benama, who said to me, ah, well, for the project you're suggesting, I have a good book for you to, to read. He gave me this book, uh, The Story of a Young Prince, torn between two fathers and two conception of life and future, right at the center of what I like to do, because most of my movies are, are that, you know, a young person discovering a new culture, being, uh, uh, not knowing which way to go, and then being modified, transformed by what he discovers. And we were spot on. The, that, that novel, written in the 50s, uh, had all the seeds of what goes wrong in our day, in our days, uh, what goes wrong in the Arab world for sure, but also in in uh, the general world, uh, and uh, the, the, it, you know what was spectacular is that we went with that need, and then when we started shooting, the Arab world started to boil. And then it went up and up and up, and, uh, and the, the tension and the hope and fear was creeping into our set. And we could not believe that we, we were shooting something that was set in the past but reflected uh, our days. And then when we ended up having the armies led by our young prince, uh, getting into the city of one of the sultan and having this crowd saying, kill him, kill him, that same day we were shooting in Tunisia. This is the day Ben Ali left, that day, at that moment, in real life. And so, so, so you know, it, it was very fulfilling because we had the impression that doing fiction uh, in in those beautiful settings uh, had was mirroring the tensions uh, and the uh, imbalance of the day. And tell us about your young lead, uh, Tahar Rahim. What for you are the qualities that make him one of the best actors of, actors of his generation, as you've described him, and why was he so right for the young prince? Well, you know, I, I wanted someone from coming from this world um, because there is a relationship to body language that is uh, special. Uh, and as it was something that I wanted to show, I, I wanted to show the depth of the heart. Uh, I ended up with three actors. I did film test. And Taha has something quite unique. He uh, has his heart in his eyes. He's, he's a guy of a wonderful uh, sincerity. 
Uh, I remember when I worked with Brad Pitt on Seven Years in Tibet, I found the same thing in Brad. You know, Brad is an honest uh, man. Whatever he does, you see the honesty. And the same thing for Tahar. He's, he has a pumping heart, he's generous, and, and he's, he has the, also the sparkle of youth. And, you know, as it is the story of this kid that see him, sees himself as a, a librarian, frankly. He, lo he loves book and he has no ambition. And the events of life leads, lead him to, be, to become a, a warrior and a leader. Uh, I wanted to see this evolution and all this conflict coming from the innocence, uh, almost the naivety of this young man to someone that has that strength. And I had seen, of course, uh, Tahar in uh, The Prophet, where there were those two things. You know, first he's just an ordinary little guy, and then he becomes this uh, menacing, threatening, uh, powerful young man. Um, and um, that is, you know, what uh, a great actor gives you, not only a performance, but he gives you his heart. Jean-Jacques, I know, thank you very much.